Hello, I'm Wayne with ModularHydro.com. We're going to give you a quick update. I get a lot of emails, and this is just going to be a real quick short video, and just use common sense on this. I get a lot of emails, a lot of phone calls. And the reason why is we grow a lot under CFLs and under LED lighting. We like the idea of, of leaving a less of a carbon footprint on our planet Earth. And we've been really doing some in-depth research on uh, CFL lighting and you can, we have many videos on this on what we're doing in the system you see set up. But let's go back to the original question. How close should my lights, or whether it's CFL, whether it's uh, LED, whether it's high pressure sodium, uh, high metal halide, whatever, it doesn't matter. Use some common sense. And I'm going to show you the approach I use. Of course, visually, I look at it and I can tell right away. I've been doing this over 30 years. I simply take my hand and run it around, nice and slow. Try not to touch the plant, even though I did. If your hand is comfortable and you don't feel any burning sensation, your lighting is fine. If you really want to push the test, leave it there for at least three full minutes, and that's hard to do. Hit your iPhone clock and hit the timer and see if you can hold your hand there for three minutes. What it does is, it, it lets you, it, it, if after three minutes, if your top of your hand is warm and it's uncomfortable and you want to remove it, you honestly think your plant likes that, and that's just a simple test. That's all you need to do. Just use some common sense. Use the back of your hand. It's much more sensitive than the other side. And, and check it out. And this should be done on a daily basis. And I'll tell you what. We get such explosive growth rates out of our systems, we have to adjust our lights every 24 hours. That is mandatory. And also keep a log sheet on everything you do. Again, I'm Wayne with ModularHydro.com. For more informative videos such as this, go to ModularHydro.com. Thank you.